Yo, what is going on guys? Many here and welcome back to some more Fight Champions in the weekend league. We continue the grind on FIFA 20. Uh, now, this weekend we've gone with a 4-2-3-1 and I kept it like that in game. And to be fair, I used it in Rivals, it was working for me. And like you saw in the Zidane video, Zidane was just getting better and better as games went on. And I found that in that cam position he works really, really well. So you can see in that first game we got our first win, we got a rage quit in the game as well. And uh, that was one and oh. But so far, um, in general, I'm trying to figure out. This is on not the patch they've just literally brought out like yesterday, but the patch just before that. I'm trying to figure out the gameplay still in this weekend league. And I, I, I had a bit of a rocky start. I feel like defensively, um, it was really, really weird and really hard for me to play. Like, I don't know if it was me, my concentration. I don't know if it was... Uh, things with me trying to adjust to player changing. I, I wasn't really sure of what it was, but in the first few games, you can see I'm conceding uh, goals here in this. This is my second game. Normally, the second game in weekend league for me is like a 5-1 or maybe like a 5-0, but this right now, I don't know what was going on. I was just conceding. Uh, I felt open. I didn't feel like I could defend. Yeah, my attacking was all right. Yeah, I was still scoring goals, but at the end of the day, I felt like if I was going to come up against better opponents, I would concede, and that just shows it there. That's lazy defending. Uh, that time there, I didn't know what I was doing. I don't know if it's that thing where sometimes your opponent is just... It's not like they're they are totally awful. They know what they're doing on the game. But at the same time, they are at they play the most basic standard of FIFA. And when you're used to playing against players in Division 1 that play really well, play really nice FIFA, you're starting to think like too advanced. You're doing things too advanced. You're defending too advanced. You're attacking too advanced. And the game becomes so open like this to where someone who probably is in Division 4 maybe is taking me to a game like I had to score six seven goals to win that game and that I think that for me was really weird but I after that uh, I felt like okay this might be a long weekend I don't know if it was the formation that I was playing but I felt comfortable with it which was the weird thing I don't know I felt comfortable with the formation so it must have been something on my side uh, but yeah you guys know like I started with top 100 this this year on FIFA uh, I've had 28 and 2, I've had 27 and 3, I've, I've had some good finishes on this FIFA but I feel like now at the moment I'm struggling to get to grips with the changes in the gameplay, the delay in the gameplay and even just myself, just common errors that I'm making myself is really really starting to annoy me and I feel like my finishes have gotten worse. Before this we got 25 three weeks in a row but I wasn't enjoying the gameplay or how I was playing, I, I, I didn't really know where to place myself. And uh, I've been finding it very strange. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the latest patches, the latest updates. Uh, if you're liking the gameplay, if it's changed from the first week uh, a lot for you. Because I, I feel like I'm in limbo right now on FIFA. I feel like I'm just playing the weekend league for the sake of doing it. I don't feel like I'm, I'm even nearing the goal of uh, top 100 anymore. Because right now you need 29 wins to even be in with a claim of that. And that's no easy thing to do. Uh, but yeah, we managed to reach 10-0, which we always strive to reach every weekend. We then moved on and it got to a point where like um, I was struggling to keep track of my record. So 10-0 as we went into this game. Um, actually, no, I think we even went 11-0. Sorry, we went 11-0. We came up against this guy. We took a 1-0 lead. He equalised there. There I tackled him. I don't know what Maldini was doing. I feel like it came from something that I tried to do with Van Dijk, I don't know, but the pass didn't go well, it just went straight back to him, and Van der Sar this week for me was a liability. Guys, the amount of times I thought about selling this Van der Sar, I don't know, even Vieira there missing that ball was so annoying, you can see me, I'm thinking, what is going on here? I don't know how I lost that game, but that was my first loss of the weekend. I'm not even sure, like I said, I lost track of my record, so I'm not sure when it came out, and I was just skipping so far uh, or quickly in the game, so I wasn't even seeing what my actual record was. So looking back at this footage, I can't even tell. Uh, but yeah, we'd reached 11 wins. We got to this point where it seemed like, I don't know if it was my opponents turning up or I was just coasting. Look at that defending there. There he gets lucky with Neymar. The game just wanted to give the ball back to him there, and it gets like that. But yeah, that was another loss. We lost 2-1 uh, in that game. Very, very frustrating for it to happen like that. We were 12-2 and at that point, I feel like my weekend is done because obviously I'm aiming for top 100. That's what I want to hit. That's what you guys want me to hit, especially with the players available to me. But I don't know. My, I'm not getting to grips with the gameplay anymore and I feel like my FIFA play is declining week by week. So I don't know. Maybe this weekend going or starting with a silver team at least should give me a bit of respite from that and I should be able to just take the pressure off myself and maybe just have a bit of fun playing the game for once. 
uh, which might be nice for a change. But anyway, we're going to go into the first base icon pack. You guys are going to see that. Let's see what we get. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yes, Kieran, what are you saying? <laughs> Every time you join the stream, the, the coin total rises by a mil low. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, base icons. Base icons. What flag is that? Should we do another one? Should we do another one? Let's do another do one, man. Do it, do it. Let's do, do it, another do it, do one. It. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. I'm not satisfied right, with unacceptable. that. I'm not satisfied with that. Let's do another one right now. We'll do another one. Well, to be fair, I, I got a cotcher in my uh, not a cotcher. I got Eusebio in my first ever one. Uncle JJ. <laughs> Moving back into the games now. Like I said, I totally lost track of what my record was, but I was just trying to win as many games as I could. If I could finish 27, that'd be great. If I couldn't then it is what it is, but we take the lead in this game. Nice play from Eusebio there, and he got the finish as well. Gets a bit lucky this time, goes into Zidane. A bit of composure, we make it 2-0. But in this game, you have to make sure you take your chances. Look at this beautiful football there. Uh, for some reason, Vieira not able to apply the finish. And then this guy goes up the other end, has a bit of an opportunity here, skilling up my team, going past my goalkeeper. Firmino gets blocked by Van Dijk, and he blazes it over the bar. But I don't know, he was just growing back into the game. I felt like I lost my foothold there, and he looked like he was always going to score for some reason. I don't know. It felt like, honestly, he passed the controller to his older brother or something. And he equalised before I knew it. So 2-2. Two, two. And then as it would be, in the 89th minute, that line ball that I always complain about, uh, so overpowered, towards the back post, nods it down. And it ends up being a very, very good goal, actually. That I didn't expect him to score. But I feel like Van der Sar could have done better. It was uh, quite central in the goal. We then tried to go back and get an equaliser late in the game. But here, this the delay there. The delay that Neymar took to play that pass. You can see me flipping out about it I was frustrated and as a result of that you know what's gonna happen I'm gonna lose my head start selling players start doing silly things uh, so I lost my head I sold Vigo Van der Sar had annoyed me to the max I sold Van der Sar and then I was changing the team around look I had 90 Omri that I've been complaining from the start of the game that he's clunky in my concepts that's how you know my head was gone I bought George Best I bought Kaka and then we found a very very strong opponent he, this guy's in division one or division two from what I remember um, but yeah, we took the lead there. The nice finish from Zidane. Zidane is just becoming more and more of the man. Like, honestly, I'm so excited to try that 96, like I said in the video uh, before. Um, but yeah, like, this guy, decent opponent. Always going to be a difficult game. We get an instant reply, more or less. A bit of luck there with Zidane. And he's uh, applied that finish. So that's 2-1. Uh, George Best. It's 90 George Best. I'm not sure what to think of him exactly. Uh, I don't think he's as overpowered as he has been in previous FIFAs. But I think he, he is a card that if you know how to use him, in a certain way and he will be a pretty uh, decent player this guy pulls one back anyway uh, Ronaldo R9 the card that I despise so much uh, scoring there and then he gets an opportunity there to put that across the box he fails to do so uh, properly really and this is how FIFA is this is how harsh it is he could have made it 3-3 in the 82nd minute or so and then straight up the other end that is how it is in FIFA. It's, there's so many fine margins there. Could have been going to extra time. Instead, we pick up the win in our 17th of the weekend league. Um, but yeah, it seemed like it was still a bit of a struggle. We had three losses at this point. 17th, three, so we're pulling it back. Uh, Kaka this time, which is a card that I'm just so disappointed in on this game, by the way. 89 Kaka feels so sluggish. Way worse than how Zidane felt when I first used him. 89 Kaka, what they've done to the Kaka icon cards is criminal. They were giving him cards like when he wasn't even an icon, higher than the icon that they've given him. They gave him a 92 card a few FIFAs ago, and that was outrageous. Um, but yeah, anyway, we went into another game against another Division 1 guy, uh, Jordi. You might have seen him about, I think he might even have gotten top 100 a few times as well. A uh, good player, but we're drawing 1-1 one, one right now. George Best getting in behind, nice play between himself and Neymar. And we find another goal, so it's 2-1. But these guys, they know how to get goals. They know how to be efficient in the area. And that's a nice finish of Mbappe. Uh, probably a bit passive on the defensive side from me there. But like I said, I, I, I hit a point where I feel like I just coast. 
I don't defend well. Uh, my attacking's okay, but it's inconsistent. And that consistency I had in the first few weeks of the game just seems to have gone out the window. So, like I said, maybe this little recess with the silver team or even taking a week or so off might do me some good. But yeah, against this guy, a very strong opponent. We stole the win in uh, the last few minutes of the game. We solidified that 4-2, and that's a very strong opponent just beaten there. Anyway, time for base icon pack number two. Let's check it out. Do you reckon we're gonna get base icon? If we get an SCN, that's not the worst. That's no, not SCN's the worst right. thing we I'll could get. I don't know. I don't even know what mm. I'm expecting from this. Netherlands. Center forward! Cruyff! Cruyff! Burkamp! No! Oh. What a troll. Oh. <laughs> what a heavy troll. Oh, that is tight. If they're not careful, I'll do another one, you know. A, a third? I'll do a third. I will spam this these is, out, bro. This is what they want. Yeah, but what else am I going to do with these cards, bro? True. I've got 22 mil. Unlucky. <laughs> so, I will do another one. But yeah, we move on anyway. We came up against the guy that I hate playing against the most probably at the moment, Son. And this guy had the 88 one, which means he's going to be that little bit more overpowered. But here, yeah, don't know what this is from Kyle Walker. Just take charge of the situation. Fails to do so, absolutely. I get chipped by Son. We're 1-0 down, early doors. Not a position you want to be in. And then he doubles that with a lovely finish from Del Piero. Bearing in mind that we do need to win uh, one of these games to try and... Uh, no, we need, we, we need to win both of these final games to try and get 25 wins in the weekend league. But right now, it's not looking like that's gonna be the case. This guy with Son punishes us. Poor defensive mistakes. Again, didn't clear our lines properly. And uh, we didn't really have much to play for in the last game. I Honestly, my head was so hot. I didn't even stream the remainder of my games because I just felt like the place I was, I didn't want to be toxic on stream. And I don't like to give you guys the energy if you're tuning in to watch me live on Twitch, which as a reminder, always, if you guys aren't already following me on Twitch, make sure to do so. The link is down in the description below. So we went into the last game anyway, um, at 23 and six, I think it's 23 and six. Yep, weren't really playing for anything much, uh, but it would have been nice to get the win and maybe just close things off on what was another disappointing weekend, in my opinion. In my opinion, but yeah. The win in 3-1, going to the final moments, this guy scores, gets a little consolation, but we are gonna end the weekend regardless on 24 wins and six losses. Yet again, we're declining and I don't like it. So after that, head was hot again, had to sell some players, starting to prepare for the primes. Uh, in the next ep episode of MMT, you'll see that we've got a load of coins and I'll be talking about that what I plan to do with those coins as well. It's gonna look so crazy to some of you guys, but look forward to that next episode. Be uh, ready to check out this next icon pack. Who do you reckon we're gonna get in it? Let's find out. If I get Pele, I'll sell the other Pele. I can't lie. Oh. oh my god. Remember last time we got ranked three, we got Mbappe. Last time we got ranked three, we got Mbappe. I should have probably played about three or four more games, I would have got ranked two. Not that I'll probably get anything. Not that I'll get anything, but you know. Um, obviously I would like it to be good, but you know. Probably gonna see like Rufier or something in one of these. <laughs> Suso. Suso. I wonder what Suso would have been like if he had like a full season in the Liverpool team. I wonder what he'd have been like because he's gone to Milan and he's done pretty well there. What's this? Is that Falcao? Is that Falcao? Is that Falcao? See, maybe like eight FIFAs ago, this would be an amazing pack. Now it's, he's a windbag. He looks tired. He needs a nap. Mega pack time. Mega pack time. The biggest pack yet with a whopping 30 yes 30 items a mix of players and consumables all gold 18 rares thought they were gonna burst into a rap song then all gold everything i feel like this might be decent though no never mind i'll take it back i'll take it back center mid alan
playing games in Division 1 so we can get Allen. Games against the top 0.5% of FIFA players on Xbox so we can get Allen. But like I said, I don't really care what we get in these. Um, I said I'll skip this one. Probably didn't get anything good in it anyway, so... Oh, and it can't be that great if we've already got it in our club. <laughs> Look at the Pepe. Uh, we finished Elite 3 for the second time in this FIFA. 24 and 6. Not good enough, but... Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm getting worse because I'm letting the game get to me too much. That's my problem. I didn't even complete my games on stream. Which is bad in my opinion, but I don't know, man. I just, I had enough and I just, I just couldn't. VVD energy. That's what I want. Well, last year I got Red Fabinho. I didn't get Red Wijnaldum this year. Red VVD would be amazing then. I don't have to splash a million coins. Let's go, let's go. Player pick number one. Let's not waste any time. So we're obviously picking Fakir. But does this now mean that this is the highest player that we will get? We are obviously picking for care. Usable, but 90 dribbling though. What's his agility? 83 agility, 93 balance. Ooh. It's not a bad card. It's not a bad card. So we're gonna have to pick that for care. It's a usable card, like someone said, usable. VVD in this one. I spoke it into existence. He's there. He's, he's there already. He's there already. VVD's there already. He's there. <sighs> Damn. Hey, brother, this guy's tired. Why is he sleeping for? He looks so dazed. He looked like someone woke him up and was like, yeah, we got training. Sillison. That's what we're taking. That's what we're taking. Virgil, Virgil, Virgil. Please be in this pack. Three, two, one. That should, uh, that should just not be allowed. Why are you able to get someone you've already gotten before? Like, uh, why should I get duplicates in red picks? Oh, my head. This game gives me a headache. What do I do? Yeah, I'm going Costa or whatever, man. That is so, I mean, to be fair, I got Elite 3 this time, so I guess I shouldn't expect the best rewards, but you know. Let's just drop the expectations. 100k pack, whatever. Sounds like it might be a good pack. Bad. Seems like a walkout. Who the hell is dancing in my pack? Oh my god. <laughs> How dare you do all that ceremony for an 83 rated card in a 100k pack? That's outrageous. Never mind. Just never mind. Carver how? Uh, I mean, yet again, another player that's just about squeezed onto the card. Looks like he's about to fly off it. Like he's been pushed off a plank of a ship. But I mean... It could have been far worse. Sillison and Costal. <laughs> Alright, well. Um, I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, the rewards this week. Pretty bad, you know. Pretty bad overall. Normally we have something to sort of pad it out. But pretty bad overall. We still have a load of this stuff to sell. But let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Who you got in your rewards? I hope it was far, far, far better than mine. I'm pretty sure one of you got silver one and packed Virgil van Dijk because that's how the cookie seems to crumble. Um, but yeah, let me know your rewards down in the comment section below. Leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new, of course. And I'll catch you guys next time if I decide to play this dead game. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even bothering to do these anymore. I actually don't know why.
I don't even know what he's staring at, brother. What he looks like he don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. We're both looking at each other like, yo, we don't want to be here. Like, why are we here? Like, look at his card. He's looking at me like, yo, brother, I didn't, I didn't even mean this. Like, I just walked into your house and I didn't mean it. Oh, my. <laughs> 89 dribbling. Hey, that's a big card, man. 89 agility. I mean, apart from his shooting, he's... Okay. Stay with me until the night. Take time. I take time when I make mine. I keep it real, I never fake mine. On the camera in the meantime. Kinda quiet when it's me time. I breathe thighs in my free time. Subscribe and you rewind. That's how we do it when